today we are going to the experts with Valentine's Day coming up Monday. Today we want to ask about financial compatibility. Let's say you met the love of your life. Well, that's great, but you also need to talk about money. The truth is, money disagreements are the second leading cause of divorce. Anthony Pellegrino from Goldstone Financial Group says it's really never too early to talk about your finances, but even if you've been even if you have been married for years, there are things you can do to get on the same page. Pellegrino suggests trying to make it fun. Clients of ours, Kathy and Al, Chicagoans have been with us the last 14 years. And I recall sitting down with them. They said, Anthony, we sit down once a month and do our, our kind of date night for our finances. So they sit down once a month, have a glass of wine together, and they just kind of take a, a check-in of where they are financially. Are they still tracking their goals? All right, so here is what you should not do. Don't hide purchases, credit cards, or any debt that you have. And don't assume your partner has the same goals as you. Like everything in a marriage, you'll need to compromise. And good advice also for people who've been married a while. You need to check in and talk every month or so about your finances. Absolutely. Yeah, not romantic, but important to do.